Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Thursday, January 28th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Singer Del Rey. I don't know music, but I actually do know this. Uh, I know this is Lana Del Rey. I've just heard her name so many times. Um, I don't really even know what song she sings, but I'm aware of her. Drink from a machine. Hmm. Is this like a soda brand, maybe? And we have to remember that this is a Thursday, so we have to be on the lookout for some tricksiness. Um, kind of on Thursdays, always in the back of my mind, I have um, the knowledge that there may be a rebus somewhere in the grid. So this may, like maybe this long clue might have a rebus in it here. Let's take a look at it actually while we're here. Something directly following a penultimate question that is to say, diametrically opposed to a primary one. Okay, so penultimate means second to last. Um, something directly following a penultimate position. So that would be a final position? That is to say diametrically opposed to a primary one. A primary what? A primary position? Final position versus a primary position? I'm not sure... I mean, I guess it's not going to be position because you wouldn't be able to reuse the word position in the answer. So, hmm. Final placement or something like that. All right, let's see if we can get some crosses to help us out here. Colorful kind of shirt. Is that an Aloha shirt? I usually hear them described as Hawaiian shirts, but that sounds plausible to me. Common congestion points. Hmm. Noses? Is this like congestion? Is this like kind of congestion you'd have as a cold? Um, like a virus? Is Yeah, maybe nasal? Noses or necks? It could be a few different things. I think noses is the most likely. Figure skater 4-1. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Not just occasionally. I guess that could be a lot. Poppycock. Um, hmm. I was thinking dross at the at the first blush, but that's too long. Hmm. It's gonna be something like that. Like, and also because this, I think poppycock is kind of a silly word. The the answer might be kind of a silly word too. So we have to kind of think of what might be kind of a silly word that might also mean nonsense. Gracefully send away. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one either. Hmm. This almost looks like it starts with the, doesn't it? The final something. Hmm. I'm going to put that T in here. Drink from a machine. Is it a latte? Can you get lattes from a machine? I guess I guess you have to use a machine to make a latte, right? I, I kept thinking of it as like a dispenser, but yeah, I think it's a little more sophisticated than that. Okay, so is it toss? I don't know if I've heard that. Tosh. No, it's tosh. Yeah, I have heard of. It's like pish tosh. I've heard people say. So I guess a figure skater is maybe an athlete. It's a very generic answer. Sometimes sometimes you have to think that way. Like if you're stuck on something, if you're ever stuck and, and you're thinking it might be asking for something specific, sometimes it's good to just be like, what's the literally the most generic answer I could give to this clue? And sometimes that helps. Like this one, athlete, sometimes it's even more generic like like noun or something like that or verb sometimes they're literally just asking for like the part of speech so that's something you can do if you ever get stuck all right gracefully send away ease out maybe hmm girl group with the 1999 number one album fan mail hmm i mean i think it, um 
Is it TLC? It might be, right? 99 sounds a little late, but I think that's still plausible. Pioneering ISP. ISP stands for Internet Service Provider. And one of the big pioneering ones was America Online. If you were alive in the early 90s, you definitely at least used it at someone else's house if you didn't have it yourself. Okay, so it, it is sort of looking like ease out, right? Hmm. I guess so. Yeah, I don't, I st it still sounds a little weird to me. With more of the same sort. Hmm. Is it like once? No. Once again, I was thinking. Not really. Donna Blank, 2014 Pulitzer winner for the Goldfinch. Hmm. I think I have heard of this before, but I, I definitely don't know the author's name. Giant walking combat vehicle in Star Wars films. I think that's the AT-80. AT is a Star Wars um, kid. I definitely know that. It's either AT-80 -AT or AT-ST, I think, was the other one. That was the smaller one. Confess openly. Yeah, is that a vow? Mistake of a sort. So there's a mistake in the clue. And that's, I think, what you would call a typo. Okay. Maybe we can get the acrosses here. Blue shade. Yeah, I think that's navy. Navy blue. Release as a song in modern lingo. That's a drop, right? I think I've heard that before. My new album is going to drop on Friday. Yeah. Uh, I don't... Is it tarot? That seems unlikely to me. With more of the same sort. And something. This U is looking more and more wrong to me. I'm going to take this out. He's off. Does that make more sense? Still doesn't seem like it's sending away. Easing off means like you're exerting less pressure on something, but it doesn't really seem like it's sending away. So, hmm. All right, can we get this one? The last, it, it, it definitely looks like the last, right? The last workout? <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. I guess this is and such. Okay, that makes sense with these. I, I could see that with these two letters in there finally. Oh man, maybe it is ease out. I'm going to leave that for now. All right, see if we can start in this corner maybe. Stuffs. Agreed to tie the knot. Hmm. Is that said yes, maybe? Like said yes to a proposal? Yeah, that, I like that. I, I'm not 100% sure that's what it's going to be, but it's a good answer. Without backup. Hmm. Is it just alone, maybe? Okay, you win. I think that's maybe I give. Again, quotes just mean this is something you'll hear someone say. And so that's what the answer will have to be also. Work. Uh, yeah, that's going to be toil. The most odious and antisocial of all passions. John Stuart Mill. I guess that's envy. I guess that's true. Envy is not a good look. All right. Date. Yeah, that's C. Like you're on a date with someone. You're seeing someone. Okay, stuffs, I guess, is sates, which means you're um, you're fulfilling someone's desires. And this, I think, specifically means food desires here. North African capital. Is that Algeria? The last... Wow. I have every everything but one letter, and it's still... This answer is still eluding me. Huh. The last wordily? <laughs> that makes no sense to me. 
so maybe this is wrong. Passing comment. Passing. Like maybe when someone dies? Or is it like passing on a throughway or something? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure where the the wordplay is going to come into effect on this clue here. I think it's got to be passing, but... Eh, I mean, I want it to be like someone dying. That's the most likely, but... Hmm. 90s say... At first blush, this looks like it's going to be asking about 90s as a decade, but I want to say it's maybe trickier than that. It could be 90s as in like a temperature, or it could be like a grade. So it could be like A average or something like that. A average, that could be it. Yeah, is Algeria, is Algeria a city? I kind of want to say it might be a country. Maybe that's wrong. I'm gonna put an A average actually and see if that does anything for us. Whoops, A average. Um, and then maybe this V, four star. I mean, maybe that's like a rave, like a rave review, a four star review. But this, okay, so yeah, maybe Algeria is wrong. So yeah, that E shouldn't be there. The last word, something. Is it Algiers? Passing comment I yeah like passing a bill yeah okay so I think it is Algiers I think I've heard of that I don't know where it is other than that it's in North Africa um the last wordily hmm this makes no sense to me all right let's maybe um sorry I've been pondering this one so much, but uh, maybe once we get some more theme answers, hopefully it'll make sense. Like an oven. Whoa, look at this. This seems like it might be another theme answer. This is all kinds of weird. Is there any pattern to the capital capitalization? It doesn't seem like it. L-K-N-O-N. And then there's like random spaces in the words too. Weird. I mean, like an oven is an expression just means like, it just means really hot, right? So maybe it starts with hotness. Hmm. Boy, what a weird theme we've got today. I'm, I'm kind of excited <laughs> because I haven't been able to crack it yet. Uh, wiped out. Uh, that could be wiped out as in like broke. Like you don't have any money. Or could be really tired. Hmm. Human rights lawyer Clooney. That's Amal Clooney. She was on the puzzle a week or two ago. Um, she's gotten more puzzle action than her husband has. George, he must be so lonely. Um, so hot mess. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, because this clue is a mess. So it's a hot mess. Um, but I don't know what the end is going to be. <laughs> Interesting. Number two. Hmm. What crystal jellies do when disturbed? I don't know what crystal jellies are. Huh. Never heard of that. Views. Hmm. I mean, it's likely that it ends in an S. Maybe it's eyes. I, don't, I guess that could be views. Yeah, I mean, this is a kind of a tricky clue because it looks like it's a, a noun, like a plural noun, but it, it's actually a verb. Yeah, I think that could be right. A female kangaroo. Is that a doe, maybe? Doe, a kangaroo, a female kangaroo. None of it is good, as the saying goes. Huh. Number two. Hmm. Hot messily? Hmm. 
I mean, this would kind of repeat the end of this first theme answer, right? Ending in I, L, Y. The last and something directly following a penultimate position would be the last word. Huh. Diametrically. That is to say diametrically opposed to a primary one. I mean, I'm just going to put in I, L, Y. I mean, this makes more sense in this clue than it does in this one. Hmm. I mean, it's like, it's almost like the answer is describing how the clue is arranged, right? Like, hot messily would be something that's hot arranged messily. I'm still not... So, I mean, maybe it's like ad adjectiving the clue is the theme, but I'm still like, it's still eluding me like exactly how this one makes sense. Let's let maybe come back to that at the end and, and see if we can kind of parse um, how this logically makes sense once we've got some uh, time to think about it. A uh, number two could be an aid. Okay. Uh, I guess maybe it's glow. I would love to see a picture of crystal jellies glowing. That sounds kind of cool. All right. Yeah, that did not disappoint. All right. Um, none of it is good. As the saying goes, no news is good news. I like that clue. Wiped out. Hmm. That could also mean to like take a spill, right? Eat dirt. So you could describe that as eat it. Like you ate it. You, you fell badly. Decides. I think that's just opts. Yeah. Bullet in a food fight is a P. Yeah. It's a good projectile. Um, okay, golden blades that may be tenderly chewed by equine or bovine beings. Okay. Um, hmm. So this is kind of like, I don't know, like poet speak, like having that like um, apostrophe in there to abbreviate a word. Uh, okay, golden blades, I guess, could be maybe hay that's being, being eaten by horses or cows. Equine and bovine is horse and cow. I mean, I'm just, I'm going to put the I-L-Y in the end there because that seems like what eh, everything has in common here. Um, hay... Hey, Italy. <laughs> Boy, this this theme is really befuddling me. All right, lie in the sun. It's not tans. Is it lays? Like you're lazing around? Is this a Z? Janitors, janglers. No, I think that's keys. Oh, so maybe it's bake. Like you're baking in the sun, getting a tan. Yeah. Blank men. One hit wonder group of 2000. <laughs> I think that's the Baja men. They did Who Let the Dogs Out, I believe. Yeah, I graduated high school in 2000, so uh, that, song, that song was inescapable. And I remember it very clearly. All right, demographic figure. I guess that's age. You'd put that on like a census or something. Food thickener. Hey, that's agar. That was in the yesterday's puzzle. It's a good gelatin substitute. It's made of seaweed, actually. Uh, it doesn't taste like seaweed. It's kind of flavorless, but yeah, it's a nice substitute for gelatin. You can use it to thicken up a lot of different dish dishes. Uh, okay, one committing insurance fraud, maybe. This has an arsonist. Yeah. Hastily? No. Well, it does begin with hay, at least. Not doing a darn thing. Is this a play on words? An unindicated play on words? Like darning? Like, like mending something? Hmm. Kind of getting that, that feeling that I'm getting that tingle of a play on words. Cry towards the end of a list. Cry towards the end of a list. Hmm. Cry? Interesting. Source of some 
omega threes. That's fish. You can get omega threes from um, flaxseed. Also, that's a really good source of omega threes. Blank Hallis Central Food Market in Paris once. Hmm. I mean, it could be just like lay, maybe like just the. I think that's a pretty likely guess. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a, sh a stab at that one. All right, and then maybe we can take a peek at this final theme answer here. The cat's meow, baby. Dig. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that I L Y in there. Um, hmm. So this is like. This is like jazz slang, kind of, right? But beyond that, I'm not really sure how to describe this. Classic name and audio equipment. Is it Bose, maybe? I'm trying to build out this little corner here. Shakespeare character who says, how sharper than a serpent's tooth it is to have a thankless child. Hmm. Who... Who was a parent in a Shakespeare play that was very upset at their child? Hmm. Gonna need some help on this one. Follower of pigs or cows? Hmm. Country sound. I want that to be twang. All right, let's take out bows. That was kind of a guess. Um, alternative to an ellipsis, an ellipsis is just like the three periods at the end of a statement. So this could be maybe etc. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I like the I like twang for this answer. That's a fun one. Shipment. Hmm. We can build off this W here. Hmm. I was thinking it could be like Sony or something too. Hmm. This looks like it might end in ing. Yeah, something else. Uh, something else you can do if it if it's looking like a verb, maybe like it might have an ing at the end of it because of how the puzzles clued. It's not a bad a bad idea to put that in sometimes. Um, yeah, a shipment can be cargo, right? Why does cargo go by ship and a shipment go by car? That's weird, right? Okay. Um, yeah, I, I still don't know this one. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's King Lear, right? That was all about his, his, he's trying to decide who, which of his daughters to like, leave everything to, right? I haven't actually read King Lear, but yeah, I think that's sort of the basis of the storyline there. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a cute one. Old MacDonald. Okay. Oh, man. I, I think I just don't know this, this um, audio equipment maker. Um, I almost want this to be like loafing. Hmm. Holding. Okay, cried towards the end of a list. You're almost done with the list. You're on your penultimate list item, and you can say one to go. Hey, loftily. Oh. <laughs> okay, I finally kind of got my head around this clue at least. So this clue is just describing hay, right? That's what at, at the base level this clue is doing. It's like the answer to this should be hay, but the way it's clued is like using very elevated language. So it's loftily describing hay. So it's hay loftily. Okay. Yeah, this, this makes sense to me. Great. Yeah, I really like that one. Hot messily. That one makes sense. I'm not gonna look at this one again. We're gonna save that to last. All right, I'm just starting to get my head around this. Okay. Um, is it lolling? 
Like lolling around? Hmm. This looks like it starts with all the... No, all that jazzily. Yes. Okay, all that. All right, finally. This is what I... I, I think I really like this theme because it's it like took me a, a, a while to like catch on to how it was working, but then for the last theme answer, it actually helped me get the answer. And I think that's a really nice like feeling of accomplishment when you're able to do that. So yeah, I think I really appreciate this puzzle and its theme here because the cat's meow is like something that's really good. It's all that, right? And then the cue is jazzy, like jazzy linguo. So it's all that jazzily, yeah. A plus clue on that last theme answer there. Model in a science classroom. I guess that's just an atom probably, right? Computing prefix. Uh, is that just like a terabyte maybe? Be plentiful. Yeah, team. It's teeming with, teeming with things. It's just like there's tons and tons of it. Black and white swimmers in Orca. Uh, actor Damon is Matt Damon. Tape recorder buttons, eject. I don't know if you kids have ever used a tape recorder, but uh, yeah, you used to have to hit a button to get the tape to pop out. All right, uh, it may be rolled out for exercise. Yeah, yoga mat. So you can do your cat pose, your asana. I'm starting to learn about <laughs> yoga now. Uh, prospector's find is or. It may end with a reality check. Uh, maybe ego trip? Ego trip? Yeah, because if you're on an ego trip and it ends, it could be due to a reality check, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of a two-step clue there. Cartoonist chast. Roz chast? Hmm. Is that... Is, is that... Um, I'm thinking of... Uh, an old cartoon slip strip. Is it Kathy? Is she the artist that does Kathy? Roz Chast, is that right? I wanna say like, I maybe remember seeing those strips sign signed as Roz. Is that right, Goose? Let me know if I'm right about that. Okay. Oh my God, competitor of 21 down. This is, this is pretty obscure. This is net zero. I think you'd only know that if you were like in your teens or 20s during the, like the late 90s early 2000s because this was kind of like a flash in the pan internet provider yeah they like offered free internet but it was like commercially supported so you'd have to like watch ads to browse the internet it was a weird time torn asunder ripped rip up that doesn't really make sense TV producer Chaken. I don't know this person. Funery burners. Yeah, that's pyres. It's like a gigantic fire. It's like at the end of Return of the Jedi, Luke's burning Darth Vader's body on a funeral pyre. Um, in perpetuity. I guess that's ever. Forever. Name meaning born again. Oh. Hmm. Is it Renee? I want to say it is because um, in French, the word for born is ne with, it's like N-E-E. -E. So Rene would make sense as born again. Yeah. It's looking like Eileen, right? Yeah, Torn Asunder is Riven. Yeah, also sequel to Mist, one of the best. 90s PC games ever made. Till section. Oh, a till. Yeah, a till is another word for a um, a cash register. So a section in the till. I think the till is specifically like the drawer that the bills go in. So a section in a till would be a ones section for where the $1 bills go. All right, yeah, Eileen. Ooh, look at us. We've got it all filled in except for this one square. Hmm. I kept saying ease out, right? But it just, I, could it be tart with two T's? That looks so weird. Donna tart, I guess it could be. All right, I'm just gonna put it in and see if we finish here. 
Look at that. I guess, yeah, I guess it is tart. Ease out. All right. Um, yeah, 29 minutes, not too bad. I think I kind of took my time on this one. I was, in, I was enjoying it, savoring it a little bit because um, we had a nice theme today. I still don't really get how ease out is gracefully send away. I guess if you're easing someone out of something, yeah, I guess that could make sense. It's not really kind of how I think about it, but yeah, if you're like easing someone out of a team or yeah, out of a situation possibly. Yeah, I'm, I'm still, it's a little weird, but okay, Donna Tart. And can we, all right, can we just sit here and think about this, um, this first team answer? Uh, The last wordily. Okay, yeah, all right. Finally, finally, it makes sense to me. Okay, um, so this clue at its base is just asking for the last thing, right? Something directly following a penultimate position is just the last thing. But this clue, in addition to stating that directly, it adds a bunch of extra words a bunch of ex extra extraneous information that we actually don't need. And I think that's why it was so confusing to me. It's, this That is to say, diametrically opposed to a primary one. Like, it was so confusing to me why they added this, but it's just to make the clue extra wordy. So it's just the last wordily. It's just there's a whole bunch of extra information in here that we didn't need that confused us. Yeah, I almost wish that uh, this maybe was the first... Or, uh, this maybe would have been the, like, the last clue because I feel like this one is extra confusing. Like maybe I think these three were easier to get than this one, but that's a very it's a very slight criticism. I really liked this theme. This is um kind of exactly the kind of theme that I like. It's like wordplay and um, also kind of helps you logically discover the rest of the theme answers. Yeah, that's great. All right. Yeah, definitely like this puzzle. I hope you enjoyed solving it with me and I hope, um, yeah, me working my way through this helped you maybe spot a tricky theme answer next time you solve a puzzle, next time you solve a Thursday puzzle. Yeah. So did you guys pick up on this theme faster than I did? Do you have any clues that you specifically loved in this puzzle? Let me know in the comments. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to be doing the Friday puzzle tomorrow. No theme on tomorrow's puzzle, most likely, but I Hope it'll still be a good solve. And yeah, that's it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.